to know. Oh, sure it is, hon. Huh. That'll be three dollars. Well, that's pretty pricey for a few pair of candy pets. I'm sorry, Prudy Pinkleton, but some of your personal stains require pounding with the rock. I'm home! Four o'clock, guess I don't need to guess who got detention again. Hmm. Tracy Turnblad, mind your manners and say hello to our guests. Hello, Mrs. Pingleton. And you, Penny. Hello, Mrs. Pingleton. I mean, mother. Teenagers, they just love watching that corny Colin. Delinquents, dancing to that colored music. Don't be silly, it ain't colored. The TV's in black and white. <laughs> Nice white kids who like to lead the way. And once a month we have our Negro Day. And I'm the man who keeps it spinning around. Mr. Corny Collins with the latest, greatest Baltimore sound. So every afternoon drop everything. Who needs a read around when you can dance and sing out the da da Forget about your algebra and calculus. You can always do your homework on the morning. Can tell a bird from a noun, they're the nicest kids in town. Roll call. I'm Amber. Brad. Tammy. Bender. Brenda. Sketch. I do. Do it. And I'm. our new dance of the week, the Stricken Chicken. We'll be right back. And we're off. <laughs> All right, people. How many times do I have to tell you we do not touch ourselves anywhere while on camera? Tammy, lose the padding. You too, Fender. And Link, <laughs> stop hogging the camera. You're not elvish yet. Amber, hog the camera. Yes, Mother. And you, Mr. Collins, none of that Detroit sound today. You have something against Connie Francis? <laughs> you know, the kids are over the moon for rhythm and blues, Velma. They can't get enough. They're kids, Corny. That's why we have to steer them in the white direction. <gasps> I mean, you know what I mean. Hey, Amber, I've got something for you. I figured since we've been going together sort of steadily, maybe we should make it official. Oh! your personal lives for the camera. People, we're back in five, four, three. Don't forget, guys and gidgets, our very first primetime spectacular is coming up on June 6th. We'll be at Baltimore's brand new eventorium broadcasting nationwide. Talent scouts from all the major record labels will be there, and sponsoring the event will be none other than our own Ultra Clutch Hairspray. Let's give a great big fawning Baltimore salute to the president of Ultra Clutch, Mr. Harriman F. Spritzer. Ultra Clutch is happy to bring you fine youngsters to national attention. A big break! Also live on the special, we'll be crowning your choice for Miss Teenage Hairspray 1962. My big break! Well, isn't she a lovely slim girl? I guess Amber's pretty, but she can't dance. <laughs> plastic little spastic. <gasps> oh no, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, look, she's wearing Link Larkin's council ring. Hey everybody, remember to watch Mom and Me next Thursday on Mother Daughter Day. And I wanna be your Miss Teenage Hairspray. Remember, a vote for me from you is a vote for me. What an unexpected ad-lib, Amber, and speaking of expecting the unexpected, 
our own fun-loving, freewheeling Brenda will be taking a leave of absence from the show. Now, how long will you be gone, Brenda? Just nine months. So it seems we'll have an opening for a girl who's just as fun-loving, but maybe not as freewheeling as Brenda. Want to be one of the nicest kids in town? Then cut school tomorrow and come on down to station WZZT to audition. Oh my God! It's a dream of a lifetime! I have to go audition! Oh my God! It's a dream of a lifetime! I have to go watch you audition! That'll be enough of that for one day. No one is auditioning for anything. There'll be no cutting school in this house. But Mrs. Turnblad! Penny, go tell your mother that she wants you. She does? I better hurry. Bye, Mrs. Turnblad. Bye, Tracy. Oh, my God. Bye. Whoa! Rush hour traffic. Beep, beep. Hiya, lady. Since I got that new shipment of exploding bubblegum downstairs, this, this is booming. How am I too funny, honey? Oh, stop it, Wilbur. You're the funny one. Daddy? Tomorrow I'm auditioning to dance on a TV show. No, 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 no. You're going to have to go further than that to get around me. And what did I tell you about that hair? All ratted up like a teenage Jezebel. Mother, you're so 50s. Even our first lady, Jackie B. Kennedy, wraps her hair. Yeah, well, you ain't no first lady now, are ya? She's a hair hopper. That's what got her put in detention again. Will but talk to her. Girls like Tracy, people like us, oh, you know what I mean. They don't put people like us on TV except to be laughed at. Leave it to me. Tracy, this TV thing, you really want it? Oh, it's my dream, Daddy. Well, then you go for it. <gasps> this is America. You gotta think big to be big. Being big is not the problem, Wilbur. When I was your age, my parents begged me to run away with the circus. But I said, no, that's what you want. I had a dream of my own. I dreamt of opening a chain of joke shops worldwide. So, okay, I still only have one. But someday, I can figure out how to keep the air from leaking out of my sofa-sized whoopee cushions. I'm going to make a noise heard around the world. <laughs> you follow your dreams, baby. I'm grabbing an orange crush and heading back down to the hardy har hut. I got my dream, and I love it. You're not helping, Wilbur. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Tracy Tunglet, get back up here. I've got laundry, hampers the laundry to do, and my diet pill is very long. Oh, Mama, I want to be famous. You want to be famous? Learn how to get blood out of car upholstery. Now, that's a skill you can take right to the bank. Oh, you think I wanted to spend my whole life washing and mending and iron in other people's clothing? Hmm? No. I used to dream that I would have my own line